Class A, Class C, fifth wheel travel trailer. We're gonna tell you how we made our decision. And have you ever been on a plant tour? We're gonna to take you along to Indiana while we go through an Alliance plant tour. Have we mentioned that we totally regret selling our momentum? I actually asked Sarah at one point if we could text the buyer and ask him if we could buy it back from him. Why was the Momentum such a good rig for us? It was the perfect rig. We had minimal problems with that thing. First, we had superb support from Grand Design. It's so big, it's way bigger than the other one we were using. It just feels like super homey. It was a ton of room, which was nice, but also it was a ton of room and so it was a lot of space. It was actually a little bit too big. Don't you think? I mean, we got, yeah, in, a, so we got in the bushes. So super big on the inside. But that was the other thing that was nice on the inside too, is uh, the full profile yeah. ceilings. Large That's ceilings that felt like a house mm -hmm. when you're inside. But that was the bad part, mm -hmm. is it was super big on the mm -hmm. outside. You see that tree right there? It's really close to the back of the rig. So we kind of had to pull in and then back in to kind of to fit. We loved having the garage and then the patio that laid down. It was really nice extra room for the dogs. So it was nice because we laid the patio down and be out there, mm -hmm. but it also added 13 feet to the back of that rig. We were 60 feet bumper to bumper, which made it obviously more difficult to get in places and difficult to get around. Turn, turn left on Strunkett Street. Street. The then turn left onto Taylor Street. So now we don't have a rig, but we get to explore all of our options. I could totally do this. A class A with a toad, we're pretty fast paced movers and this would be perfect for us. So we pull in, drop the jacks and hitch maybe a Jeep and be able to travel around the areas. That's how we started RVing is we rented two class A's, but I couldn't quite convince Sarah to go that direction. Class A for me is out. Now I know Ryan wouldn't mind being in one, but I have had a bad experience in 1995. I saw a really bad accident involving one and I cannot get those images out of my mind. And I just, maybe Ryan can work on me and I'll eventually get there. But for me, class A is out. Someday I'm gonna convince her to go to class A. We're gonna, we're gonna get here at some point. We're gonna get to class A. We talked about class C's, either like a super C or even like a small Tiffin, like class B or class C. And I even got Sarah to go look at one of those Tiffins because to me that seems perfect but she didn't like the size of it and we're still kind of in that era of what that class A was doing for her. Class C for us is just not enough room with it. We have two big dogs, sometimes our kids travel with us. I just need something with more space. So although we could get into a lot more places, unique places maybe, I just think we need the space. So we talked a little bit about travel trailers. Travel trailer is a no for me right off. I don't even consider it really as an option for us. Maybe if we would have started out our journeys with one, it would be different. But we started with a fifth wheel with all that space. I just, I can't go to a travel trailer. So that's out. Unless it's an Airstream. I'd, I'd go for the Airstream Classic. Absolutely out of the question. So since we have a truck and we have a hitch, Sarah decided that we would just buy a fifth wheel. <laughs> <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> we had such good luck with Grand Design. We started looking at the solitudes, but there's one thing that the solitude was lacking that we were used to having on the momentum. And that was what's called one control. And the momentum we had, it's the full touch panel that we could control our HVAC and our lighting remotely. And the Solitude had a lighter version of this called Compass Connect, but we couldn't control like the generator or to see the temperature or adjust the HVAC. So the salesperson suggested we looked at another momentum, which he said the 376 THS was all living space with a small garage underneath the master bedroom, but he didn't have one in stock. So we jumped online, we chased one down, but it was five hours away. Okay, we're in Bend, Oregon at Blue Dog RV. We're gonna go look for the first time at a Grand Design 376 THS. It Which was, I really liked it. It was great. It was, you know, it was a lot like our momentum. But it was more a living room. And But there was a lot more storage. Mm -hmm. We were used to this one little tiny, <laughs> not even a pasture on our on our rig, and this yeah. had like like three pastures. I'm really loving this, the 376. We really could use a living room. That would be really nice to have separate living. It makes it feel so large. I love it. There was another reason why I wanted to go to Ben. He was sneaking something in. So I've always wanted a Tiffin Class A. Class A is not going to work out for us. So. Tiffin has a towable line by Van Lee where they have a fifth wheels that are Beacons and Volanos and there's a dealership in Bend that happens to sell those. We're gonna go into a Van Lee for the very first time. We've seen pictures and they look amazing, very home-like, so I'm excited to go see one. Let's make it happen. Ryan has been looking at these for a while and so when I walked into one, I wasn't really prepared for what I was gonna see and it was 
beautiful, very, very homelike and wood. It was just, I loved it. He knew what he was, we were gonna walk into, I didn't. Check, check out this woodwork. And the lighting, there's lighting everywhere. There's lighting on, on top of everything. It's like, okay, this is like a house. This feels so, so nice. I love it, love it, love it. But is this something you'd wanna take boondocking? And he, he said something about people that take them where they're not supposed to go. And I'm like, is that something that, because of all this wood and it's so expensive, I mean, is that something we're gonna be dealing with, with boondocking? So you're saying that if you buy a beacon, it just becomes a park princess? I don't know. It feels kind of like a park princess, doesn't it? I mean, okay, it feels kind of, I love it, but is it too nice? All right, so if we buy a momentum, we'll take it down the dirtiest That's, roads, bounce it up and I down, out in the middle of the desert, but if we buy a beacon, we have to stay. we're gonna stay in parks. Wait, but doesn't it kind of feel that way? I mean, that, that momentum is like, man, you could, I feel like we could just off-road in that thing. And it's still nice and I loved it, but this almost feels like we need to protect it. So after shopping around our local area and that trip to Bend, Oregon, we were confident in which rig we wanted to go with. And after placing an order, there was still a little bit of hesitation. And there was a manufacturer we just had to go check out. We're here in Elkhart, Indiana. We're here at Alliance for a factory tour. Okay, one of the things we did is we're shopping for a new rig is we jumped into the Facebook groups for the manufacturers to see how the customers actually felt, one, about the product and two, about the service they're receiving. And one of the things we couldn't help but to notice is the buzz around Alliance mm -hmm. and the camaraderie with that group and how they felt about customer service. It's an infectious group of excitement and it's kind of hard not to want to know more about it. We get on the tour, they take us back to the frames and show us how they secure the tanks in there, how they insulate, how they secure everything to the frames, and then from there, how that goes into the cabinet shop. The kitchen island. From the plumbing, it goes over to where they put the walls in. They showed us how all the hanging walls come in from the lamination process. That was and they, cool. And then they slide them over and yeah. secure them to the to the uh, frames. And then they walked us up on the mezzanine where they actually make the roofs and move them over, secure them to the units. We're putting a bat insulation down. Yep. Yep. They'll put all the bat insulation. It's already starting to rolled. Okay. So they shove that in. Yep. Yeah. And then they're laying. Then the they mat. take this layer across and just do one board. One board, one board, one board on top. So they'll lay this, yeah. So the radiant foil bear, and then the boards. And then once that's done, they'll place all the boards. They'll sand everything down, put mylar tape across those seams and edges between the section roof. And then they'll place the PVC roof cover. It was just a really interesting experience to see how their whole process is from manufacturing. You know, suction cup and going yeah. out. Yeah, it's like a windshield. And it's powered up. Yeah. So I guess they do that just so they know it. They got all the line out of the work for it. Tap it in and it's like, oh, it's <laughs> There's two plants. We went through the Paradigm plant, mm -hmm. and then the other plant was the Valor plant. One of the things we like about Alliance is the buzz, the camaraderie, the customer support that's around there, their transparency. It's just- It's infectious, actually. Yeah, it, it makes you want to be part it of it. It is, true. So their presence on social media, I think, is what's key because they're getting tons of feedback from customers live, and they're also supporting those customers. So that's it, Alliance rocks. It really does. Alliance Maybe. to rule the world. All right, so thank you, Alliance, and everybody else that gave us a tour. And that is it for Indiana. We'll see you next time. See ya.